Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Catherine, the woman known as the queen of modern dance, looked out into the audience. The crowd roared for her to give them an encore. But Catherine had other ideas. My dance company and I will not return to Louisville, Kentucky until the city desegregates your theaters. The crowd gasped in shock. It was 1944. The civil rights movement wouldn't begin until years later. Catherine was again ahead of her time in dance and social activism. Catherine was always drawn to dance as a young child. However, her family encouraged her to be a teacher. After high school, she enrolled in the University of Chicago and studied anthropology. Catherine was fascinated with the anthropological roots of dance. She immersed herself in studying the dances of the African diaspora. In between classes, Catherine studied dance with Lumila Speranza, a former ballerina of the Moscow Ballet Company. Catherine formed the Negro Dance Group, one of the first all African American dance groups. A wealthy patron enjoyed a performance of the Negro Dance Group so much that she offered to fund Catherine's studies in dance and Caribbean culture. Catherine studied cultural dances in the Caribbean for two years. She earned the trust of Haitian natives and was invited to join them in their most sacred rituals. This experience changed the focus of Catherine's life and the development of modern dance. Catherine returned to Chicago in 1937 and began to change dance forever. With ballet as the foundation, Catherine infused Afro-Caribbean styles and movements. Her technique was different from anything that had been done before. One dancer described Catherine's technique as using every part of the body to dance. Each muscle would move separately. Catherine choreographed her dances to a wide range of rhythmic tempos, rhythms that had never been used by Western dance companies before. And her audience loved it. While Catherine broke down barriers with dance, she still experienced discrimination everywhere she went. She would perform in theaters where she herself would not be allowed to buy a ticket. Catherine began refusing to perform in segregated theaters. Despite the obstacles she faced, Catherine and her dance company were enthusiastically received all over the world. She and her dancers performed in Broadway shows and Hollywood feature films. Catherine even opened her own dance school, the Dunham School of Dance, the first of many dance schools. In a nation where there have been no path for black dancers, Dunham created the country's first black dance company. She brought them all the way to Broadway and Hollywood. The Dunham dance technique is still used all over the world to this day. Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel 